Hey guys, I'm gonna do another car. It's a little different, uh, it's an import. But when I was a kid, my uncle had several of these cars. Uh, he had this one, and then he had the other name brands, which I'll get to in a little bit, because there's a car, two of the different cars that he, he once owned, and they were English import cars. So I'm talking about back in the 70s. And this one here in particular is a 74. And I don't know what year the other one is, but when I get to it, you're gonna see it. You're gonna like it. And they're both here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. So let's take a good look at them. Yeah, guys, it's a 1974 Triumph TRS, or TR6, I should say. This thing has an inline six cylinder, so it's a straight six with a four speed. My uncle, my father's brother, had several of these things. He used to go by his house. He had them all out front. And I used to see these cars, and I was like, man. But they were cheap to get back in the day. They're going to cost you nowadays to be this clean. And it's well kept. It's going to cost you. And it's a triumph on top of that, you know. Go down the side of the fuselage. Take another good look at this hood and see how this thing can hold an inline six. Not a four cylinder, a six cylinder. Let's take a good look at it in there. That dashboard is real nice, clean. I like how that stick shift is sitting so further up and now you can lean down and just, you don't have to lean too far, but just shifting, just shifting, you know. If you're a big guy like me, you need that. <laughs> I almost said there's back seats back there, but it's nice. There's a little area. Convertible top. Luggage rack. Original rims on here, you guys. Let's take a look at the other side. I'm gonna go over this back end one more time how distinctive this car is. And it only had this one side for exhaust, but with a six cylinder, you know, straight six, man, them things are powerful. They were made for pulling a car, and this thing is just a smaller two-seater on top of that, so you know it's fast, and it's gonna have some power to it. So we look, see, right there on the dash, 140. They didn't put these things out just to be messing around. Now, when they were building these Triumphs, they built them for speed. You know, these things were roadsters. They were meant to be out on the road. They were meant for people to have fun in them. They were meant to be driven and driven hard. Now let's take a look at the uh, information. See what we can find out on this thing. Yep, 74 Triumph TR6. 2.5 straight six, four speed. Right here, Gateway Classic Cars. It's here, sitting, waiting on you to come get it. You see the price, if you want it, come say hello. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you the other car I was talking about. It's an import, it's a real nice import. And this was just one of the second, he had two or three, my uncle, he had two or three different brands of English made cars, to the best of my knowledge. Um, and this one here in particular, definitely there was one out there with a British flag that sat on the rear fender. 
Okay, so if anybody know these cars that watch this video, you pretty much got a good idea what I'm getting ready to present. Let's take a look at it. Although this is the early 70 model, this is a 1980 MGB. So my uncle had the MG Midget. And those things were just beautiful. It had that British flag on the right rear fender. This one doesn't, but this is a straight, a straight four cylinder. And it's smaller, a little less heavier than that uh, Triumph we looked at with that straight six in it. But this thing here is real nice with this orange and black trim. Exhaust on one side. Luggage rack. And these things were nice. I used to see these things everywhere. But the earlier models I used to see with the British flag on them. Let's take a look at the information. Straight four cylinder, four speed. Let's take a look at the interior. Two seater. You got that little space back there for whatever. <laughs> you didn't have much room back there. Dashboard's clean. Radio. Temperature gauges. Four speed stick shift. We're gonna swing around. Take a look at it from the back. Convertible. It's a nice little car. For those who can fit in it, because you know, big guy, he can't fit in this thing. I'm too big. <laughs> Yeah. These are fun cars, especially with convertible with stick shift. Oh yeah, you'll love it. But I found this one and there's another one here. I'll show you. Okay guys, here's the other MG I wanted to show you. It's quite similar, but it's a little older by maybe uh, four years, maybe six. And uh, it's a nice car, a nice find. Um, let's take a look at it. Now, by four years, this one is a little older than the orange and black one I showed you guys. This is another MG, and this one here is burgundy with black and tan interior. This car here has some really nice rims on it. It's clean. Now let's take a look at what it says right here. It's got this little British Leyland. Yeah, that's what's tagged on there. A British car. English import. Yeah, these things here were nice, man. Like I said, you see these everywhere I was at. Where I grew up, they had more than enough of them. People used to love these cars. And in Chicago, oh, oh, excuse me, and in Chicago, yeah, they definitely loved them. <clears throat> Real nice car with another four cylinder. You know, you see how the hood is a little shorter compared to that Triumph, yeah. This thing, lighter, just as fast, just as nimble, you know. But these things, but look at that grill. I just, take a good look at this grill here. Look at that chrome in there. I set back in. That thing is nice. That thing is really nice. Let's take a look at the interior. Another convertible. The dash is set up a little differently. But when you got the money to buy and you want it your way, you will have it your way. Let's look at the other side. Oh yeah. It's real nice. Yeah. 
Hey, instead of the other MG, the older one has 120 on the dash. That one had 80. I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make until you actually drive the car. <laughs> but you never know what this Leyland uh, tag model might do. Might even lift the front end up. <laughs> yeah, let's look at the information, guys. 76 MG MGB, straight four cylinder, four speed manual, black and tan. And it's here at Gateway Classic Cars. And that's Crete, Illinois. Let me get back up on this information. You can look them up online or give them a call. Hey.